All right, guys. Uh, a lot of y'all was requesting some uh, information on the build. Uh, what we've got here is a standard go kart clutch with 96 teeth on the sprocket, so it's 9.6 to 1 before it goes into the input shaft. We've got Jeep Wagoneer rear ends that are 273s. It's pretty tall with tall tires. So uh, we've had to use a pretty good reduction on this. Uh, I took the motor off of the back, the generator, put the solar panel on. But uh, anyway, if you got a four cylinder of any kind, uh, you can, the basic rule of thumb on a four cylinder with a five speed, most of them are three something gears or four something. So you can usually use, you don't have to use a sprocket that big to be able to build one if you're going to use a Ford Ranger, a Ford Carrier, a Chevrolet S10. Uh, but anyway, uh, your bottom sprocket, rule of thumb is about 20, 25 miles an hour max with a six and a half horse. So you can use a 72 sprocket on here. If you use anything with 350 to 400, you know, four to, 350 to four, you know, 411, something like that, 373, you'd probably be okay. If you wanted to go to 44, you should probably end up putting a, a you know, a 96 tooth sprocket. You can find those at Granger, pretty easy. It's real simple. There's a go-kart shaft right here. I cut out of a go-kart. It was already keyed right there. Uh, this is the inside of the clutch. I just cut it out, clutch plate. Weld it to the shaft. There's a carry bearing right there. Very simple, guys. And very affordable. Lots of fun. It's balanced out where you got enough weight in the back here to, uh, the back weighs about as much as the front does. So, in other words, it, it goes really good. 70 miles to a gallon. Uh, about 22.5 miles an hour at uh, 4,000 RPM. Overall gear ratio in low range first gear is 269 to 1. Alright, thanks for watching.